Hello and welcome, I'm Fedor Doggy, and you are tuning into your daily dose of Rush Royale. So, this week, a uh, faction blessing or faction bonus is Forest Alliance. Boosting from that bonus is critical blessing, while meaning increasing crit chance for this faction units. And on the screen, you can see the units which are in fact affected by it. I don't have summoner, so yeah, I cannot make summoner deck, but I have other cool recommendations or top three decks for you, so you can choose them. So without further ado, cue the intro. Here is the first deck I thought about, and it's classical Boreas Shaman deck with certain variation where you can switch the priestess for something like a demonologist or you can put summoner in instead of this or like i said you can put demonologist all around it's a good deck a uh, hero it can be trickster it can be j it can be snowflake but trickster is mostly usable in this deck preferably level 5 plus so you can get more mana, more slow, more utility out of it. And you play it as you would. You get shamans with Harlequin, then you just go shaman on shaman. Boreas for main DPS and Bombardier just for that stun. Or actually utility of grouping the units up. You can put Chemist in here, you can put Cold Mage, you can put Frost, you can put whatever you want in this deck. But let's say this is the basic shaman deck you can do and i would highly recommend it it's quite fun deck second deck it's also fun deck and it's underutilized on high rating and on low rating is quite good and that's play dancer deck so crit buff will kind of make play dancer usable let's say crit chance per se and this is kind of the standard play dancer known knight statue no scrapper build where the main premise is to use Portal Keeper to connect your Blade Dancers into 7th seven Link and basically use Dryads to level them up and Harlequins on those Dryads to get more Dryads. And Bombardier is there just for the stun so you don't get flipped by a Bedlam or you get nuked by Warlock. So yeah, that's basically the premise. Also, if you have the cards, you can use Scrapper instead of, I don't know, Harlequin. And also you can use Knight Statue over Portal Keeper, so you will risk it for a Biscuit, basically having fewer Blade Dancers and you will risk your position for uh, basically sacrificing it for profits in merge ranks. But this is the basic setup, I would recommend this. With Hero I would go with a J or a Snowflake, but also you can use Gadget if you have it or any other hero. But J is the main premise just because that uh, tier 5 where we get extra crit chance on the Reign of Arrows. And if you have level 10 that's even better for attack speed bonus, because that's what Blade Dancer is made for and you basically need it. All my other item setups I don't need to say it but it's all attack speed attack speed and amulet is for the damage so yeah you use attack speed on everything in the game on every deck unless you are support deck and you need mana gains so the last deck i want to showcase to you well it's hex deck now why the hell hex deck and what the hell is this hex deck why are you not using ivy and you are using wind archer well that's because you can leave it up to preference. You can use Wind Archer for your secondary DPS or you can put Ivy instead of it. It's basically the same deck but I like to use Wind Archer because he's so mistreated, misunderused and basically I like it for a long run over Dread, uh, over Dread, sorry, over Ivy. That's my personal preference but you can make your own Hex build. Of course you can put it out for something like Crystal Mancer, so you have more boss potential or DPS on bosses potential. Of course, you can put it out also for a sharpshooter if you want. But I was keeping it a forest themed, so I put 
well, Wind Archer, because I usually put Wind Archer for Ivy, but also because I like it that way. Of course, you can make million iterations of the deck, but I decided on this one. Hero, well, you can go with uh, Mana Gain, which is viable. You can use Elementalist for blocking path and basically getting Armor Break. This is highly, highly viable, especially the second part where you get Armor Reduction. So yeah, that's all what I have in store for you, that's all I would recommend for now, I will keep it short, I will keep it sweet. Uh, so yeah, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content, I don't know, if we reach 10 likes I will play one of these three decks and showcase it in my next video. And yeah, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe, if you don't want to, you don't have to, also make sure you check my other content on this channel i'm doing a lot of games from uh, chess to pokemon look like games uh, to the review of bad mobile games anything you want you can find it here or anything that you can imagine you can find here so yeah thank you for joining i will stop blabbing and see you in the next one